Thank you. The first international final since the Olympics. How yeah. was it? Um, it was a tough race for me. It's been a bit of a tough day to be honest. Um, I think it's just been a bit of a shock to the system coming back into this kind of environment um, after, I guess, a little bit of a transition period after the Olympics. So. I was hoping it was going to be faster than that. I'm not going to come out and say that I wasn't disappointed with it. But in terms of just getting back in and having a good race, you know, it's exactly what I need right now. And uh, improvement from heats to semis is always good. Is yeah, definitely. You know, it's always a positive move forward. I would have liked a, bit, a bigger drop than that. Um, but you know, that that's just the way it is at the moment. It was, it's always going to be a little bit hit and miss racing at this time of the year. Um, and after having such a big break after the Olympics, you know, I, I'm the least the last person that wants to come in and make excuses for not swimming great. But I think you know, for something like that, it's kind of to be expected after the, after this period of training and um, just after having such a big change, really. Do you go into the 200 now with quite an open mind, or are you definitely? You know, I, I'm going into the Nutties program that I've moved to. I've been there kind of eight weeks, and it's more a 200 based program. I'm hoping that it's going to be the one where you know I feel a little bit more in my comfort zone with straight rates and not having to spin too much, and you know, not having to have too much fast twitch. But um, but again, you know, going to it with an open mind. I think the most important thing right now for me is getting back into the kind of the world scene of racing, having a few good races. They might be tough races, but you know, at least I'm here, here and doing it. Well done. Cheers.